Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 25th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Only seeing minor C-class solar flares, but pretty active sunspot regions. Firing out plasma shots and as well incoming, cresting into view some active sunspot regions that will be earth facing this week coming up having a look at the last two days incoming this is where we saw the most recent coronal mass ejection that was shown yesterday from that active looping region and then looking at outgoing here again some pretty impressive plasma shots from the bright fiery regions big bright fiery sunspot regions getting ready for a backside activity. Now let's have a look at a different light, and this is where we can see the coronal hole showing the magnetic field of our sun in the top left there. Coronal holes are building, getting ready for an Earth-facing week. So stay tuned as we will see an increase in solar winds as this is all Earth-facing. 171 angstroms here. You can just really see the heliosphere in action and all of the connectivity and magnetic fields of the sunspot regions as there were a couple sunspot regions that were interacting with each other outgoing and here's a green sun for everyone some different lights today brought to you by solar dynamics observatory and daily events worldwide this is 94 angstroms but yeah big fiery plasma loops from an active sunspot region getting ready to turn into view. This is a look at our sunspot regions as they are turning away and we have a blank disk. Three earth-facing sunspots, five turning away. 3961 is still a beast. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1. A minor radio blackout impacts expected from most recent C-class range solar flares. Solar winds are coming in at 356 kilometers per second as we are under a level one geomagnetic storm. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see here in the C range after seeing a moderate M class yesterday. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity is really low as we did see a small geomagnetic, geomagnetic event last night and into today. ISWA space prediction spiral showing same thing. CME outgoing. The other space prediction spiral has not been updated in two days. So stay tuned to daily events worldwide. Hopefully I can update. And we'll be able to get a visual of that large coronal mass ejection. This is looking at Alaska 2 showing the last two days of cosmic energies leaving our sun. Yesterday, the 24th, big coronal mass ejection just after lunchtime from the M-class solar flare. And that region that fired it away was visualized in the 94 angstroms earlier on in the video. Now let's have a look at earthquakes around the world. We're just above average, just over 200 earthquakes. Still seeing some deep ones in Fiji. Notable earthquake here, Bandon, Oregon. 4.7 magnitude earthquake off the coast into the Juan de Fuca plate. Just after I had warned this region in last night's video. 3.1 earthquake here in Pahala, Hawaii. And here's a look at the Kilauea caldera as it cooled over over the last few days and it was dormant. And then you could see in the top screen there the infrared imagery there was a little burst or a melting of the surface and then all of a sudden fountains of lava again started spewing out from a hole in the north and covering the cooled surface of the Kilauea summit caldera so Kilauea is still a very active volcano and yet again it is very much alive and spewing magma now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours. As I said, 206 earthquakes, according to USGS, 
seeing some recent activity in New Zealand, as well, deep earthquake in Tonga. Witherley, New Zealand, that's a new place for re reporting an earthquake. 4.7, Ben in Oregon, notable earthquake here, central United States, New Madrid, Georgia, Linwood, Georgia, reporting a 2.3, minor, but still notable. No earthquake swarms to talk about, but notable earthquake here. Mariposa, California, in the California Basin. Carrying on here around the world, some pretty deep activity. Look at that four in between Papua New Guinea and Fiji. Between 200 and 400 kilometer depths. Speaking of which, Papua New Guinea, thank you so much. Kelly Wagner for the coffee. A gift from a subscriber. I was drinking the Papua New Guinea coffee today. Much love and thank you so much. Carrying on here around the world, activity through China still. Notable activity here, the Caribbean plate. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, my friends and family. Give you a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers and movers. And take a quick moment to thank you all for watching. A lot of new followers here, especially from the United Kingdom. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody out there as well, Ireland. A lot of people finding daily events worldwide during all these crazy events unfolding. Much love, everybody. You live in an earthquake-prone zone. Have a plan and be ready. Stay aware and prepared. Pacific Plate, African Plate, about to burst at the seams. Carrying on here, air quality forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes. So we still have 72 active and erupting. We're going to have to get another update here soon. Showing notable plumes over Mexico, of course, Hawaii and Kamchatka. Notable plumes coming out of northern Indonesia as well. The Philippines. Other than that, no new eruptions to report. A big plume coming out of Mount Etna through the Mediterranean right now. And notable plumes coming out of the Caribbean. 72 active and erupting volcanoes. That's double what I've ever reported on this channel. Just saying. Let's carry on here with world weather brought to you by windy.com. Some lingering low pressure systems trapped in both South Africa and South America. Argentina will see extreme weather for days upon days. And parts of Southern Africa and Western Madagascar will see days upon days of rain. So flood watches are in effect for Mozambique, Zambia, and Madagascar. Overlooking Europe as you've got another system coming in, not quite as strong as the most recent storm that came through two nights ago. But watch for some multiple systems to come racing through, a few of them heading up into Greenland, some pretty big storms, winter storms, developing through Canada in the long range, these forecast models are right up until the end of the month. So the start of February will be snowy and cold. Having a look across North America, we've got three low pressure systems to deal with over the next seven days. And as well, some very cold temperatures as the polar vortex is set up for 2025. And we sure still haven't seen anything yet when it comes to winter weather. Stay tuned. Intense weather moving into the Northern Territory of Australia. Possible three cyclones developing, heading towards the Northern Shores. Luckily, those are all heading eastward in the long range. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific and all the systems that are trying to crash into North America. But there's a pretty strong and dominant high pressure ridge and really warm air coming out of the equatorial region of Hawaii and, of course, California. But the extreme cold temperatures, they will win here shortly and usher away those warm, high-pressure ridges hanging out on the East Pacific. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due.